Hello Primary 5, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to revise mass. What is mass? Well, if I'm having an empty box and another box that is full of toys, and then I ask you which is heavier, which of them is heavier? Sure, the box that is full of toys. Why? Because this box has more amount. This box has more amount. It contains toys, paper, and cartoon. Why? This box only contains cartoon. So, what is mass? Mass, it is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is the amount. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. What is matter? Matter is everything around us, or matter is everything that has mass and occupies space. What are the three states of matter? I'm having solid, liquid, and gases. The three states of matter are solids, liquids, and gases, and all of them have masses. So all the matter have mass, whatever their state is. Solids have mass, liquids have mass, and also the gases have mass. If I'm having two oranges and a pack of orange, if I'm having two apples and five apples, which of them has more mass? Sure, this one and this one have more mass than this. Why? Because as the amount of the matter increases, its mass increases. As the amount of matter increases, its mass increases. To deal with matter, I, to deal with mass, sorry, to deal with mass, I have to know what are the tools of mass and what are the units of mass. Here are some devices or some tools. Device is the same meaning of tool. Here are some examples of the tools I use it to measure the mass. I use it to know how heavy or how light is the matter. Here is also some examples of the tools of mass. I always see it. I'm sure that most of you have these two, either of these two types of balances at your home, in the kitchen, especially in the kitchen. Well, if I'm in the supermarket and I need to measure the mass of fruits and vegetables, the fruits and vegetables are large masses, they are heavy. So the fruits and vegetables, if I need to measure their masses, I use common balance. So to measure large masses I use common balance. But to measure small masses like the rings, like the earrings, or even the chemicals in the lab, we use sensitive balance. We use sensitive balance. Of course, we can't measure the mass of these rings using the common balance. We only use sensitive balance. Okay, to sum up, to measure large masses, we use common balance, but to measure small masses, we use what? Sensitive balance. Okay. Units of mass. What are the units of mass? I'm having uh, units like the kilogram and gram. If I go to the supermarket and I need to buy bananas, I ask the man to give me two Two what? Two bananas? Two bananas and a half? No, I ask him to give me, for example, two kilos of bananas or five kilos of oranges. I say what? I say what? I say kilogram. So to measure large masses like fruits and vegetables, we use kilogram. But if I am in the jewelry shop and I need to measure small masses, I will ask or I will measure the small mass using what? Gram. I use what? Gram. 
So the kilogram is a unit to measure the large masses, while the gram is a unit to measure small masses. The kilogram is a unit to measure large masses, while the gram is a unit to measure small masses. Okay, to convert from kilogram to gram, each one kilogram contains one thousandth gram. Each one kilogram equal one thousandth gram. Thank you.